Hello there ladies and gentlemen, before this episode starts, I just want to say that the game has updated. As soon as I was done with this video, the game actually updated, so to get ahead of the curve, I'm going to show you guys a few things with this update. First of all, the cruiser is in the game, the cruiser is officially in the game now. This is an absolute monster of a motorcycle right now. My motorcycle skill is very low at the moment, I can only do about 45 kilometers an hour but this thing will probably go like a bullet it'll go much faster than the the standard dirt bike now the turning circle on this thing is quite wide it is a low riding uh, motorcycle it is a very very loud one as well probably wondering yes you can use your handgun whilst driving this motorcycle that bug has been fixed and it is certainly fixed in this little patch that we've got today next let me just hit the brakes on this thing. Let's just talk about the DT-11B, which is the over-under shotgun, which has been added to the game. Perfect little animation to check the, uh, the ammo in the gun. Love this gun. I am actually exposed to guns like this every single day as soon as I go to my work. Uh, this is a beautiful gun. It uses 12 gauge. You'll be able to use your slugs, your birdshot, your, uh, your crafted 12 gauge and your buckshot. I have buckshot loaded into the gun right now. It shoots one at a time. Then they will eject, they fly out, you reload it with two fresh ones, you're ready to rock and roll. Now, the really cool thing about this update is they've decided to add a very interesting way to kill yourself. If you have yourself a revolver, for example, a Judge 44, which I have in my hands right here. Very beautiful gun. Very, very detailed animation. You can actually commit suicide by by actually playing Russian Roulette. All you have to do, right click on it, commit suicide. Luckily for me, I do have, I do have <laughs> a very good helmet on me right now. However, this is a stage 3 and it is actually you know, destroyed my face right now. So I'm gonna have to get myself some uh, some medical supplies. But this is just a little part of the update, guys. I hope you enjoy the video and I do hope you enjoy this pre-Christmas patch. This is gonna be a lot of fun, especially with the cruiser. There'll be a lot of people riding around creating gangs and there'll be certainly people like me running around with an over-under shotgun. I hope you enjoy the episode. Hope you all have a lovely Christmas. I'll see you all another time. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum single player episode. So, we left off and we're here, we're on Alpha Zero, we're inside the bunker. Now, I seen in the previous episode all the comments, dude, you're mental, you're crazy, you're already logging out inside the bunker. Do you have a death wish? Yes, maybe I do, maybe I do have a death wish, but we're safe so far. Uh, I specifically chose this area for a reason though, there is a reason why I chose this but it's because that door's closed, that door's closed and that door's closed as well. It's a nice little corridor. Now, fun fact, uh oh, oh. They've already spawned in, perfect. Now, as people know, when you close down a single player save and reload it, you've essentially restarted the server which means loot. So I'm just gonna quickly go through, oh, quickly go through this stuff, um, grab some more materials, grab some more things. Uh, I don't have, in fact, I might put that boonie hat on, yeah. Did everybody enjoy the multiplayer stream uh, on Sunday right there? That was a lot of fun. I genuinely had a lot of fun on that. Um, maybe some folk didn't find it too fun. I mean, I was I was out for killing people and stuff like that. I was actually actively seeking people out. Um, but a lot of people seemed to enjoy it. The street, the, everybody in the chat seemed to enjoy it. I'm quite glad I enjoyed it myself because usually when it comes to this game, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of the multiplayer, but usually, or majority of the time, uh, a lot of people are very, very, very accurate in killing me. So me running through a forest and then I end up dying, but that's that's down to my own fault, really. I run out in the open and I end up getting killed. That's totally my fault, but usually in different uh, different servers, I am murdered on the spot, especially if they hear my voice. <laughs> especially if they hear my voice. If they hear my voice, they come running after me. It's actually quite funny. Like, for someone my size, like my size of channel, 
People are very adamant to come out and kill me. It's quite funny. Right, we have a problem. Remember, I can only feed this one bullet at a time. He's stuck somewhere. I don't know where he is. Uh, the armory should be down here, but I'm going to quickly check these boxes. Oh my god, she's doing the thing like yesterday. Or on Sunday. No, was it Sunday? No, it was the, it was the previous episode. And the, and the puppet was going absolutely ballistic. She's licking the floor for sure. Look at her. She's licking the floor. Dear oh dear oh dear. Also, can I just say... Uh, big shout out to uh, Rambo Tweety, by the way. That man has created a 3D... Uh, a 3D... Uh, character of me. And he's, he's made it so my armour shows up and my helmet shows up. And I'm holding a big Gatlin gun, a big minigun. I'll see if I can try and get it on the screen right now. Hopefully you don't mind it, Rambo Tweety. Hopefully you don't mind about it. Uh, I will put credits to you in the in the description. I just want to show people this. This is absolutely phenomenal. It's amazing. It's so cool. Imagine, right? I'm I'm not saying I'm I'm not I'm not saying that they should put it in. I'm not I'm not saying they should put it in. But if they put if they put Ray in, they should put me in. You know. Maybe some armor, maybe some full body kit armor, you know. <laughs> they probably wouldn't do that. They probably wouldn't do that. But I know Rambo Tweety is working with the devs in terms of things. So that's really, really cool to see. And that is a really cool thing that he did for me there. Didn't even ask him. He just did it. Really kind person. Really kind person. Right. Soldiering on. Soldiering on. Let's go through all this good stuff. I don't know if I've missed the armory or not. I can't remember where the armory is in this uh, bunker. I think I missed it. I think I need to go up as opposed to down. Because down this corridor right here, that's that's the ladder hatch right there. That right there is the ladder hatch. That's usually the way that I come in here. Is that a pair of nice booties? <gasps> it's a pair of nice booties. I'll have those booties. My booty. Uh, I've got a water bottle and I've got a big, uh, I've got a big bottle of soda as well. No, they're not this way. Do I have to keep going down? Is it down here? It might be down here. Haha, <laughs> losers. Oh, it is. It's right here. Ooh, what we got? We have a 9mm. I will have that. I'll have that as well. What else have we got? Oh, a magazine for the 9mm. We're actually getting armed here. A hunter suppressor. We'll take it with us just in the case we find something. What am I doing? What am I doing? I have a holster. There we go. Put that in there. Another M9 magazine. Very nice. Need to find some 9mm now. And then I'll be well armed. I'll take that MP5 rail. Chances of me finding one are quite high, especially in this place right here. Right, lock picking. Let's get to it. We can only lock pick three of these, and I did choose the bunker, f uh, the the armory for this reason. Uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to unlock the wee ones that are outside in the corridor. Come on, there we go. Because this thing only has one more use. Yeah, it has one more use. One more use. This one right here. Perfect. Okay, we need a gun. Oh, we don't need a gun, we need 9mm. Ooh, shotgun. UMP45 magazine. I don't have any bullets for- Oh no, that's a lie, that is a blatant lie. I do have bullets for it. There we go. We'll just store that, we'll just store that in the UMP magazine that will keep the- keep our inventory a little less cluttered. There we go. And... 9mm, load it up, 1, 2, 3, and we want to drag you to number 4, press number 4, press R, reloaded, ready to go, shift R, perfect, excellent, okay, did I find, no, 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 I'm, I'm missing something here, guys, I did actually find a suppressor back here, don't worry about the puppets, we don't have to worry about them, they're trapped, they're currently trapped, I'm sure I found a suppressor up here somewhere. Did I find a suppressor here? There was definitely a suppressor cutting about here somewhere. It might be up here. 
I'll just keep my, keep my inventory open like this. That way I can see my vicinity. She's still licking the floor. She's still licking that floor. Ooh, some boxes I didn't search. Lots of 1911 uh, magazines. Too bad there's no 1911 in here. Right, I definitely searched these. Uh, ladder hatch. I don't think there'll be anything in here. Apart from a rag and a razor blade. Go along here again. Into here. Oh, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Hehehe, <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, okay. Let's just uh, throw everything into this. Let's just throw everything into this. I should be really fast with this, like moving stuff across into another bag, because as of late, I've been playing the wipe for Tarkov, and uh, it's been fun. It's been real fun. Uh, I'm still hopeless at the game, but, you know, it's fun. It's a fun game. It can be fun. It can It can also be... Uh, it can... Be <laughs> It can be so crushing sometimes. It can be absolutely so crushing sometimes with some of the shots that some of these players can nail. It's unbelievable. Uh, but I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Uh, a lot of people do ask me to stream it. That might be something I might do a little later on. You never know. You never know. Okay. Through here. We. I don't think I'm going to find a suppressor in here. But I'll find something in here. I'll find something in here. I managed to find two screwdrivers, so that's good. There's bee pollen pills. Uh, face mask. What have we got in here? Oh, my tattoo's itchy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's got to that point where it's been like a couple days after I've got my tattoo, and it's starting to get to that, that really incredibly itchy stage where it's healing over, but it's scabbing, and the scabs are like... Scratch me, scratch me! But you're not allowed to scratch it, otherwise you'll do it in. You know? Right, we'll go down here again. Um, Let's... Mm, do I want to deal with them right now? No. Let's check out these boxes. That is an AK-15 magazine. That's another pair of NVGs. Ooh! I'll have that. What kind of trousers have I got on? I've got some nice trousers on. I think I'll just keep those. Search in here. What about that one? Okay, that's just one big pile. Batteries. Now, everybody's probably waiting for me to see it. Everybody's probably waiting for me to see it. Yes, we are getting an update before Christmas, but it's not 0 0.7. Please don't confuse it with 0 0.7. It is an update just to tide us over until 0 0.7. Alright? Now, there is a subtle hint in the poster for that pre Chris that, that you know, post, post, pre, pre-Christmas update. Oh, we can unlock this one in here as well. Hold on. Uh, but there is, a, there is actually a clue in that, uh, that poster. And it just so happens to be the gun that he's holding. That is that that's the new VHS2. That's the that's the creation standard issue rifle. We might be getting the VHS2 and the SF19 handgun in this little update. We may also be getting the Harley Davidson motorbikes. Oh! Oh, a snap to his head. I am... I don't know whether I say sorry to him or just laugh at him. <laughs> I kind of just snapped to his face. See, these ones are fun because they've actually got the sliding door working. You can't shoot him through this, but I think you can do this. <laughs> so... This is something that you can do, but you really shouldn't do. Because the gun is on the other side of the glass, you can't actually shoot through this glass. I lied. I lied. It's not this glass that you can't shoot through. It's actually this glass. Yeah, you can't shoot through this glass. You can shoot through that glass. My mistake. I apologize. That was my mistake. <laughs> 
I always, I always thought that you couldn't shoot through this glass as well because it has, it's got the same texture as this. It's got that kind of reinforced meshing. You see? They're, they're both identical, but apparently you can shoot through this. Yeah, you can shoot through it. Look, there's the... That's where the bullet impacted. Look. Right there. That's the bullet impact right there. You can shoot through that. I need to remember that in future. I need to remember that. Because when it comes to the multiplayer video, I think that's going to be very useful. Especially cornering people. Now... A lot of people are probably going to be like, oh, you're going to be another one of these PvPers. No, I'm not. I'm not going to be another one of those. Um, I will talk to people. I will genuinely talk to people in-game. Like, I will speak to them. But if they start shooting first, then there's, there's no option for me other than to shoot back. You know? If they come up to me and say hello, or if I go up to them and say hello and they're friendly, coolio. But if they shoot at me first, I have to retaliate. I have to retaliate faster than them, you know. But it should be fun. It should be good fun. If it was anything like the live stream uh, on Sunday right there, then I think it will be really, really fun. I think those videos will be really good. They won't be done in the same style as a single player video. Um, they won't be as drawn out as well. They won't be like an hour long. They might be like 30 minutes long or something like that. Just enough. Just enough time to, you know get plenty of interactions in and stuff like that and hopefully you guys enjoy it and there's an armory right there Ooh, i'm i'm kind of inclined to take the i don't want that shirt i want that shirt i want it i want it give me that right go through the lockers first it's cool that they've added the lockers now that these ones at least this one it's kind of cool that they've added that that's a nice change that was done a while ago as well. I was never paying attention to that. Uh, that is 9mm. So what we'll do is we'll take out the... Uh, we'll take out our 9mm that we've got. What's with all the 1911 magazines in this feckin' bunker? There's so many! There's four here! Right. Um, we'll need to do this with bobby pins now because I've used up my uh, advanced lockpick. So we need to take out four of these. And... Let's make ourselves some lockpicks. So many 1911 magazines. So many of them. I'm kind of inclined to ask them for like a modern uh, Colt 45. Come on. That was weird. That was so weird. Oh, that's a key card. I'm not taking that. You can't make me take that. You can't make me take that. You guys know fine well how terrible I am at kill boxes. I have been practicing though. Uh, I've, I've made a half decent character on my multiplayer server that can do the demo side of things. Um, I have yet to do one successfully. I have managed to open a door though. If, if, d does that count? D does that count? You know, just opening the door. I think it counts. Yeah, it counts. It definitely counts. Just opening the door to the... You know, the... the you open the, the sliding door and then... I need to take the bullet out of there as well. And then you're presented with the, the mesh door, which is the one that you have to lockpick. I managed to get that sliding door open. I've managed to do that. So, I'm proud of myself for doing that, but I've yet to actually manage to actually successfully do a kill box. As I said, one day. One day we'll do it. Uh, I've searched everything in here. Let's get out of this one. Actually, should I turn the NVGs on? There we go. Now you can see. Uh, maybe I should have done that earlier. Oops. My bad. That would be my bad. Not a lot of puppets cu cutting about here. Lead plates. Do I have the skill to make bullets? I have the skill to make 38 special, 44 magnum, and... Oh! What do you know? 9mm. Gimme. I might, uh, I might invest in more 9mm. I need to find myself a shotgun as well. I'm getting a lot of these. 
M9 mags out the wazoo and 1911 mags. Uh, do I have any gloves on? No, I don't. I put some gloves on. And last one. Right, we're gonna leave. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna vacate this area. We need to go back to the boat, and hopefully we don't get spot. Oh, do you know what we can do? Do you know what we can do? We don't have to go out the front entrance. We can go this way. We can go out the ladder hatch because the sentries are no longer aggroed to us. Ah, using my brain. Using my brain. I can't wait for this little update before Christmas though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if we do get the VHS-2, SF-19 and the Harleys, it's going to be very, very cool. Because now people are going to go out and actively try and find the VHS-2. I know some people will probably just spawn it in and have a little test with it. My my question would be actually, does it sound different from the normal M16 Mark 18? Will it sound different? Uh Ooh. He didn't see me. What a loser. Right, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna leave out the front door. Alright, that's the safest option. That's the safest option. Right, now we're gonna move from Alpha Zero, where we are right now, and we're gonna make our way to... Where should we make our way to? We need to kind of go through Alpha Zero to maybe the Torpedo Factory? I think we should go to the Torpedo Factory. That seems like a good idea. Good place to get a lot of loot. Perfect place to get a lot of loot. Lots of 9mm. Hmm. I also need to find a clip for this M1 Grand. Because I don't want to be... I, c I could go through that. I could go through that right now. And just search for uh, an M1 clip. Because the, the loot has respawned, but I don't think it would be fair. I don't think that's fair. So, oh, my character's a little bit on the hungry side. Luckily, I picked up some spaghetti with meatballs. And he's a wee bit on the hot side as well. So, we'll have a little drink. We'll have a little uh, little munch of the spaghetti and meatballs. We'll keep moving. Don't want to be stagnant or sta uh, static, sorry. Stagnant? <laughs> right, we'll keep moving. Th this new update's going to be fun, though. I guarantee it. There will be things that are going to break, though. Let's be honest. There's there's, there's going to be little bugs. There's going to be little problems. But it won't be anything major, I hope. It won't be anything major. It'll be funny. It'll be genuinely funny. There'll be a lot of funny things coming out of this. Right. Boat. Ar ha! It's still here. Good. You didn't leave me. Uh, Fuel-wise, we're looking good. Um, let's just put our trucker trucker jacket in there because my character's a wee bit on the on the warm side here. Uh, I'm gonna keep that there. I'm going to. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What should I do? Put that there. Put that there. And put that in there. There we go. Drive. Let's go. It should be a little less, a uh, little less warm now. We are in the tropical zone of the scum map, though. So, hold on a second. Hold on a second here. I was just double checking that I didn't have underwear on, and my my undertop, my undershirt, because if you have those on, it does con, it does. Uh, those are like thermal underlayer uh, items, so you wouldn't think about it that way. But for anybody that's new to scum, or, it's, or anybody that's probably wondering why am I so hot in the lower regions of scum and up the you know the left hand side, up the 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 sectors with a four on them, like general an L shape right there from D four C four B four A four Zulu four. Zulu 3, 2, 1, 0. 
these are all your kind of tropical areas, including the alpha sectors as well. I find this funny that this is going down in like a little gradient right here. I should be going like super fast right now. And this should be like a, a torrent of water just, just rushing down into the sea. But it's not. It's quite funny though. What was I talking about there? Uh, these general areas are your tropical zones. You don't want to wear too much clothing in these areas. Uh, a tip is take your socks off, take your undershirt off and take your underwear off. Uh, they count very heavily towards keeping you warm. They retain heat. They keep your character insulated, so to speak. Uh, if you take those off, it kind of mitigates it a little bit. But if you do the obvious thing, like put a trucker jacket, if you put any type of jacket on, or like a raincoat or something on, with like other clothes in the tropical zone, you will eventually experience heat stroke, and your character will fall unconscious, like my character has done several times before. I didn't know what I was doing, I went into a tropical zone with like a really heavy tactical vest, a jacket, big long, tr like long trousers, work trousers, boots, like a shirt, a jumper, etc. I was like, imagine this, imagine wearing winter gear in Spain when it's like the middle of summer. That's the equivalent of doing that here. You know what I mean? It's daft. It's silly. What? Is that a boat? Is that a... Is that a rib? Is that what I think? No, it's not. It's another... It's another one of these boats. It's another one of my boats. That's actually a cave right there. That right there is a cave. I'm down here at Alpha Zero at the uh, at the bridge. That's a tunnel right there, or a cave. You can make a base in that, but it's uh, it's dangerous. A lot of people have asked me in the past, um, is it worth it to build a base in a cave? And my answer is quite mixed. It's a 50-50 split, really. If you make your base in a cave, it's well and truly secure. If you layer the mine, or the, the, the sorry, your cave with mines, if you layer it with mines, improvised explosives with like uh, a sensor detector, you will be truly protected, okay? The problem with a cave is, there's only one way in and there's only one way out. If you face like a well-experienced team or a, a little duo that have a lot of explosives on them. There's not going to be many places for you to hide. Unless you create your own hiding spots. Do you know what I mean? So it's a 50-50 split. It's good in terms of... There's not a lot of building involved. You don't have to be as resource intensive. But the problem with it is there's only one way in and one way out. You trap yourself if you don't secure your base properly. If you secure it properly, you've got an, a, like a proper fortified position. Now bear in mind, a lot of people already know where the cave locations are. They do use interactive maps. I myself use the admin scum help, helper. It's like a little thing that I've installed onto my desktop. Uh, I load it up and it allows me to spawn in like X amount of something, X amount of that, X amount of this. It allows me to click on it and then click teleport and it sends a command to the game and tells me to teleport to that location. I use that on my multiplayer uh, server when I'm doing anything admin related. It really does help and I would strongly advise new players to download it. It's free. It's safe. You know, it's, it's, it's just a simple little application that takes the map and allows you to do some quite clever things with it. It's very, very, very interesting. I use it quite actively as an admin. I would strongly go and download it, have a little fiddle with it. You can also see all the miscellaneous items that are actually in the game, especially the ones that you cannot find. Hint, hint. Right, we've almost made it to the torpedo factory and it is a lovely sunset that we are facing towards right here. That is a very lovely sunset right there. I just wish that big bastard tree wasn't in the road. 
Look at the colours. Oh, look at the clouds. Up. Oh, we are, we are, we are actually driving away from a potential uh, storm coming in. Those are some dark clouds. Look at those materialising. <laughs> we might be doing a, a torpedo factory raid whilst it ab whilst it actually pours down with rain. They're actually chasing the, the clouds are chasing me. The clouds are genuinely chasing me right now. So that direction is lovely and sunny, and then behind us is just torrential downpour. This is like a normal day in Scotland. Like in the summertime. You can look towards where the sun is, and it's it's beautiful blue skies, lovely, lovely warm sun beating down on your face, and then you can do a 180. And behind you will be literally a storm clouds just bellowing towards you. <laughs> okay, here's our plan, guys. Here's the plan. We're going to go to the left-hand side of the torpedo factory because that is where there is a, a decent amount of stuff that you can find. No, we're not doing that. We're going to go to the middle. I'm going to I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why because a lot of people have told me in the past that I have missed probably one of the best locations on this little POI we've got here. I'm going to show you right now what they have been talking about for so long and I've been missing it every single time that I come here. Every time I come here, I miss it. I don't do it intentionally. I just don't know. I just didn't know it was there. But see that building right there? That building right there? That's where we're going. Right. Oh! <laughs> He's dying. He's drowning. He's dead. Okay, the cool thing about being on a boat is... The cool thing about being on a boat is, they can't get you here. No, I, I do need to get a little bit closer to that now. Oh, look at them down there. Look at them down there. Hold on. Oh, you can't see them. Hold on, I'll turn around. Look. Do you see them? Right. We're going to try and make them jump into the water here. We're going to try and make them jump into the water. It clears the way for us. That's it. That's it. That's it. You've seen me. You've seen me. Jump. Ha <laughs> ha, losers. Ooh. There's a suicide puppet right there. There's multiple suicide puppets here. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Hold on. I need to back up a wee bit here. What kind of, kind of damage did I sustain there? C ones. Okay, that's fine. Oh, only did it only did one percent HP. It only took off one percent. See, people think that I can't parallel park. I can definitely parallel park. Okay. Up we go. Um, what we will do is... Oh, we need to jump back down onto this. And... Get that. I'm going to put all this stuff in here. Mainly because I will... I'll probably run out of space very quickly here. If I go up to this location that I'm thinking about. Right, we'll keep that stuff. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. That. And we'll put that away. Keep that. That's imperative to keep. 
Uh, put that away. This stuff away. Keep the painkillers. Put away the binoculars. Put away that kitchen knife. Put that there. In fact, no. Put that there. Put that there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're good. We're good to go. Tally-ho. Let's go. We can check this stuff before we start moving in anyway. Okay, there is still one down there. He did not jump in. There he is. Did you see him? There he's right there. Stupid. What a dummy. What a dummy. I'm surprised he didn't hear that. Okay. Dead as a dodo. Perfect. Perfect execution. Okay, no items here. No items there. There is a suicide puppet right... Oops. There we go. <laughs> oh, I've aggroed a lot of them. Uh, I have an idea. Uh, do I have an idea here? And... Yeet. That's it. That's it. That's it. Huh? That's a drone? Oh, there's a puppet over there as well. Okay, we need to get up here. We need to get up there. We need to find the ladders. They are really invested in that, aren't they? Look at them. Ah, a light. <laughs> okay, where, where do I remember seeing these ladders? Oh. I'm gonna go slow. I'm going to go slow. Oh my god, there's so many puppets here. <laughs> I need her to keep going because there's there's two suicide puppets behind me or beside me here to my right. Go, 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 go! Oh, he missed! He missed! Oh! <laughs> okay, we made it. We got to, the, we got to, we got to the roof. This is good. Yes! Yes! Yes, lads! Yes! It's up there. Right, up we go. Oh my god, there's probably- look, look at how many there are in there. There's one lying down. Bingo. This is where we hit the mother load. Out of bullets. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Oh, we're not safe! Oh, we're not safe! <laughs> we're not safe. Okay. Wait for it. Oh! Uh oh. Door, 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 door. Okay, they're slow. 
These ones are slow. This is fine. Okay, one bullet. One dead. Dude, why'd you stop? Dead. Oh my dear lord, look at them all. Look at them all. <laughs> Look at all these losers! Okay. Now, the fun fun part here is... Uh, I don't even know you were there. Uh, containers. Lots and lots of containers. Whether I find something in them is another deal all these containers. Ooh! I'm having that. Okay, I know some people are probably wondering what it looks like down there, so I'm gonna do this. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to put that down there. God. <laughs> There's so many. There's so many of them. So, this is one location that I have consistently missed when I've come here. Um, I thought people were actually... I genuinely had no idea that this location was here. I thought this was just another, you know, another well, empty room. But it's not. It's actually full. It's full to the gunnels uh, with all sorts of stuff. Lots of different... Oh, there's a gun right there. All sorts of military stuff. All sorts of ammo. Miscellaneous stuff. There's a... Hey. I'm gonna take that. I need to find something that either goes boom. Or I need to get something that shoots these things rapid style. Because they're all skinny. Look at them. They're all skinny. They are glass cannons. The skinny ones are the hardest ones to kind of fight in this game, especially if there's a lot of them. Purely for the fact that they're so fast. It's like fighting Gollum. They're so quick. Like it's, They're unbelievably fast and they always pivot to the left or to the right. And they hit you from behind and if they hit you from behind, they do even more damage to you. As opposed to hitting you in the front. Um, that is if you have armor and stuff like that, like, you know, bulletproof, you know, bulletproof vests and, uh, stab-proof vests and stuff like that. The back doesn't protect you that much, whereas the front protects you a whole lot. If you don't face them, you die. <laughs> right, we're gonna break open all these containers here. Hopefully I have enough, um, screwdrivers. Two, four, seven... We might not be able to do all of them, but we'll be able to do a few of them. Come on, we've got persuasion. There we go. Persuaded. Open sesame. Eh, no. Oh, that was almost a one. That was almost all in one. Sluggies. That could have been a winner. I'm finding a lot of shotgun. Uh, rounds here. Surprising amount of shotgun rounds. There we go. Give me a gun. Sluggies. Obviously, depending on your loot settings, will, be de will depend on like what you find here. But the last few times I've come here, there's an MP5 magazine. Last few times I've come here, it's been really good. It's been really good loot, and it's um. It's away from everybody that's on the ground floor. A flashbang, I don't really... I, I don't really need one. 
because the flashbang doesn't really work on puppets. I do wish it would work on puppets, though. I do wish it would work on puppets. That would be a really cool feature. Right, so we missed one, two, three, four, five, six. So we missed six and we did seven. So there's a grand total of 13 containers up here. I'm just going to quickly check the roof. Normally this game does a really cool thing where it spawns like uh, SVDs on top of really high points. Anything, anything around? Nope, nothing around there. Let's go right to the roof. I also don't have... Why are you there? Why are you there? Why are you there? Do I have any bullets I can shoot you with? I've got one. I've got a singular... I've got a single shot in this thing to kill her. I may as well, like, not use the suppressor at this point. Come on. Come on. Stay right there. Damn it! Come on. Come on. I need to see your head. She's not. Sh she's not showing me her head. I need. I need to somehow make her jump. Okay, there's two. I've got one bullet here. Yes, there we go. We've used up all the rounds now. Oh! I'm getting shot at. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go away! I hate that the thing moves now. I hate that that does that now. That's so... It's such a spooky thing. Creepy wee thing, so they are. Okay, we're going. Making sure that he doesn't shoot at me here. Go, 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 go. Yes! More stuff. Slug rounds. And no... Ooh! Oh! It's, it's not perfect. It's not perfect by any means. But it's still something. I have a grand total of six more rounds to use on this thing. It does sound like he's shooting more than, like, oh, that is some... I, um... Uh... I kind of want that. I kind of want that. <laughs> I kind of want to look cool. Like, oh, that's so cool! I like that. No. Okay. Not particularly in a good position. We'll probably admit that. Um, could be in a better position to get out of here. Potentially going to get attacked and killed. Um, there are sentries cutting about. There are puppets cutting about. Uh, they have no chill. They will probably chase me down and kill me. There's no easy way for me to get out of here. Put it that way. Do I have any flares left? I don't have any flares left. The boat is over there. Will they? They'll probably come out and try and attack me. I need to somehow get to the boat over there. 
I mean, oh, I should have left the boat. I should have left the boat like over there or something. Damn it. Right. I'm going to attempt to get to it. Whether I make it is another story. <laughs> Whether I make it is another story. Oh, I'm, I'm probably not going to make this. Oh, I might. I might. Oh, I might make this. Oh. Safety. Screwdriver. Boxes. With metal that I don't need. Okay, so there's still lots of puppets in there. Whether I want to... Ooh, no. Stop shooting me. Ah! Cease. Stop. Ole! Right. Drive. 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 There we go. Okay. Let's move the boat away from here, actually, because if, uh, if I use this as a, a point to fall back to, and they jump on the boat with me, I will die. Right, there will be suicide puppets right here. They'll spawn in, no doubt. See what I mean? It's almost like I know the spawn rate of this place. I tried to get their attention. It clearly did not work. <laughs> okay, we're going to take the extra 12 bullets that we've got here and we'll just make use of them. I know I'm single feeding this right now and no, the AK-15 magazine does not attach to an AK-47 because they are two different Kalashnikovs. One's a modern version and one's the kind of, you know, box standard Kalashnikov. Back it up. There's a suicide puppet right there. He's he's like he's just at the top of my screen. Oh, I don't right, I'll tell you what, I'll do this to get his attention. Uh <laughs> That did not work. That did not work as intended. Oh, right. We're going to put this in here as well because I don't want to be carrying an extra gun with me. Oh, that was stupid. Hold on. Actually, save space. Or do we want to put it on the AK? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at this point. Can I put this on the AK? No, I can't. Oh. <sighs> okay. I'm going to back it up just a little bit more here. There we go. And turn. And... Stop. Up we go. I now no longer have a melee weapon. Oh, fuck. Well, that was easy. Seagull, be gone. Ooh, this might have been a really good move. If I can find myself an AK-47 magazine, eh, this will be really, really good. Can I attach that to that? No, I can't. If it was an AK-15, I would most definitely be able to do that. The reason why I'm walking is to um, not fall through the holes. I have fallen through these holes, funnily enough. I have done it. I am that clumsy. Oh, gimme. I'll have you. I should have can. Should I can. Another big hole. I can't see. Oh, I know where he'll be. There he's right there. Oh. 
Okay, he is about to go off. Dead. Let's just say, change that to semi-automatic because it sounds weird. We can't go near him for right now. Because I shot him in the head, his timer has officially went off, so 60 seconds, and he goes pop. Three, two, one. Bang. Whew, I nearly fell through that hole the same way I did before. I wasn't looking in there. Oh, that's a fat boy armor. Well. Oh. Stay. Thank you. Uh, the reason why this has gone a weird black texture is because it's been blown up. You can walk on it, don't worry. There's one just at the top of this stair or ladder. He's like right there. There he is, he's right there. I can see his hand waving about. Hold on, I have an idea. Hi! That, that must be unbelievably painful to have that done to you. Shot right through the gooch. <laughs> oh, I gross myself out sometimes, don't worry. Okay, up we go. And there should be a puppet waiting for me here. Yep, he's in there. I won't have to worry about him. Magnifying glass, we've got two containers, and we've got a box here. It's got nothing in it. Lockers, go through the lockers, get some cigarettes. He sounds way closer than he actually is. He's just above me though. He's just above me. Oh, we can do these. We, we can do these right now. <laughs> we can do these right now. Two, three. Crafting, craft. And lockpick. Why? Why, why have you forsaken me? God damn it. Hate it when it does that. More 1911 magazines. Help. Ladies and gentlemen, please help. I'm about to lose my goddamn mind with all the 1911 magazines. Okay, that'll do. Oh, we need to, we need to get another one. God damn it! Lockpick. Why? 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 Oh, because I broke one on that stupid. Oh. Well, I've got one ready for the next time we have to lockpick anything. Right. Dude. You talk too much. Oh. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. Thanks very much. I'll have that. There's a wee harmonica. Oh. Oh. Hello. Thank you. There we go. Now, cool thing is, you don't have to go down the ladders again, right? Don't go down the ladders. Go along here. Drop down here. And you want to drop in here. Yep, right here. Go crouch. Go along. Drop down. Crouch. Drop down. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Oh, that's a bad, that's a bad decision to go in there. That is a most definite bad decision to go in there. <laughs> because there's going to be way more puppets than I can deal with right now. I need, for the love of God, I need an AK-47 magazine. Okay, game's not going to give me any. What about in this one? 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wait, see when they start beeping like that? That just means they're get you're getting close to them. It's it's so nerve wracking. I'm just checking my back. There's a mine. Actually, I haven't. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We're cool. No, no. We are cool. Oh, I'm cool. Okay. <laughs> right. I have an idea. I have an idea. This might work. This might work. I'm not saying it will. It might work. There's a very high chance it won't work. Oh, that's... That's not good. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, the one thing that I wanted to do, though... I want to see if I can make this happen. Hold on. Okay, now to run. Now to run. <laughs> oh, I hurt myself in the... I actually hurt myself trying to test that out, but it's only a C1. I'm okay. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, that was that was just good. That was just funny. Right. I'm gonna take that with me. I'm gonna take it with me. Okay. And drop. Uh, uh um Hmm. How am I gonna do this? That might work. That might work. Maybe. Ooh, this is this is a big maybe. This is a big maybe. Hold on. Okay, that is not a big maybe. That's a small maybe. Okay. This is good. This is good. Perfect. Okay. Alright, okay. Right, we've got some stuff, guys. We have got some serious stuff on. I couldn't speak there, and I also bit my tongue. Ugh. Right, can I go back up, please? Thank you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it here. We're going to call it right here. This has been a lot of fun. We got to test out a few cool wee things right there. <laughs> I'm looking pretty cool, right? Like, like this, this camouflage? It's pretty cool, right? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed today's episode, leave a thumbs up on this video. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. What are you guys feeling? Are you guys excited for the, you know, the, the you know, pre-Christmas update? It's going to be a lot of fun. If we if we get what I think we're going to get, it's going to be a lot of fun. Lots of variety. Lots of cool stuff added. New weapons. It's going to be awesome. And... If you guys have been enjoying these episodes on Scum, on Days Gone, on Stalker Anomaly, and you've still not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Ring the little bell, you'll stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as the other games that I just mentioned, as well as any other FPS or survival games, including a Sunday night live stream. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have a lovely day, I hope you all look forward to the new update for Scum, which is coming before Christmas, hopefully on the 24th or the 23rd. As always, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.